Last night we finished another battle with the Void Woken. I think we're still standing in the midst of all their corpses. We also haven't had a long talk with any of our party members pretty much since this adventure began, so I do need to get that done at some point. Get their backstories caught up to speed. One of the aims of this playthrough was to find out more about people in the party that did not have the last time. One of the great things about this game is it has a lot of replayability if you bring people bring the last time. Uh, you can design their classes however you want, but as long as you bring them, you get to see a side of the game that you didn't see before. As you can see on the map here, we've got most of the island hashed out. Let's switch to the pet pal. Red Prince, he can talk to it. Looks at you, eyes filled with sadness. That's right. The cow stifles a sob. I want my mum. What does your the bear cub blinks? Like me, I guess. Only bigger. I've seen her miss that. Saw a dead bear earlier. Brightens. We're teaching a lot of animals what death is. Dog yesterday, and now this. I feel like one of the writers for this game was a big fan of I Am Legend. Bear. It's at the speed drives. Go back and check on him. <laughs> At the moment, I am using the headset mic. What happened here? Got me concerned now. Hold on, I'm gonna do a mic test. You might hear a loop for a minute. Concerned now. Hold on, I'm gonna do a mic test. You might hear a loop for a minute. Because it's working as well as it's going to for the time being. I'll look into uh, getting a better one. An old elf's pale gaze passes between the crucified. Anger bubbles within him. He seems. Oh, you know what? I bet I know what it is. Hold on just a moment. I'm glad you brought that up. There we go. I had added a noise gate earlier to try to cut out background noises like fan, uh, mouth breathing, whatever. So I just turned the noise gate off and we'll see if that helps. Let me know if it cuts out again. Yeah, I know. I've known your username for uh, quite some time now. Dear ones, not like this. Not like this. Not like this. They're as good as my family. But so much pain. They are changed. That Dallas woman did something to their minds. They won't be, they can't even be healed. Using such magical... Oh, they've all got them. that decomposing debuff, so heals Beautiful kill them. Souls corrupted by such evil. They're called Shriekers. Upon sight they blather, and you'll find Shriekers. You can trust the Divine Order is hiding something they desperately want to keep private. Stay away from Shriekers if you want to live. I know not. <laughs> I am doing Quad Summoner. 
I plan uh, summoning only takes 10 points because it doesn't have a stat associated with it like int or dex or strength. So after the 10 points, each one of these people is going to be go into a different specialty. Fane, for example, I've been stacking strength on. He's going to go warfare after summoning. It looks like these people ran into a magister encampment. Okay. I'll talk with them in a minute. Looks like the path loops up here, and I want to map this out. The shrieker down there. Make my blood run cold. Don't let it see you. Uh, well, like I said, all of them I'm going to uh, pour points into summoning until summoning gets to ten, and then deviate. Uh, Thane has a little hydrophysicist, a necromancer, so he can cast heals and blood rain. Red Prince has a point to Geomancy so that he can uh, do Poison Heals on Fane is the primary reason. The other two are pretty much pure summoning minus the skills that sta uh, their gear gives them. And I like eventually having one point of Scoundrel on everybody for, for the Pawn talent, which essentially gives them a free move. Here it is. Each turn, they get one AP worth of movement. So you get to constantly move faster than the enemy. But that is kind of a down the road thing. It's quite a big sacrifice to have that right at the beginning. Oh, adrenaline as well. Switch over to Seville for a second. Adrenaline here, uh, get, take two AP from your next turn and use it now. That tour also requires one point of scoundrel. It is a huge benefit having that on the whole party. Oh, stop. Oh my gosh. Apparently just walked over 20 traps. Gonna inch our way forward and take cat naps as needed. And we have a yellow dot on the map. What? Uh huh. Someone hiding up here. Magister, who's not hostile. Alright, well, Red Prince has the highest persuasion, so let's start with him. Oh, shite. <laughs> I figured it was only a matter of time. I, but I'm ready to pay the price. What are you doing up here? That's not for me to say. If you must kill me, then kill me. Ah, oh, shoot. What was Prince's highest stat? Finesse, which is not an option right now. Or wits? Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Whether I kill him or not, I'd like to see if I can get more information out of him. Wow, lucky. I, I, I really can't tell you more. I owe Alexander everything. I'm no warrior. My, my yes, in a fashion. I am playing on the hardest difficulty, which is called Honor Mode. And if someone dies, but the rest of the party lives, they can use a Scroll of Resurrection on, on the person that died, just like in the normal game. But if the whole party wipes, it's it deletes the save file. It's over. So you do... Now, you can reload... Uh, you have a single save file. So, like, let's say you're in a fight and everybody gets down to, like, 1% health. You can, like, reload if it's your turn and then not in the middle of the enemy turn and uh, go back to before the fight started. But as soon as someone dies, the game auto-quick saves over your file. So at that point, you have to get out of it in some fashion. I've beaten the game one time on Tactician. And this is the only difficulty that is higher than Tactician, so I wanted to experience it if I could. Uh, da, 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 da. What are Alexander's intentions? I really don't. All I know is what I see. We're combing the island looking for weapons and artifacts. Anything you have no I idea what your boss's intentions the are. They deserve their fate. Dallas Honestly, that sounds like any job. Can't people. really fault you. And if they're truly lucky, they become even more. 
<sighs> then you had to go and say that. More what? Oh, the people tortured on the crosses. That's how you feel. All right, we get upgraded. Okay, yeah. How tough are you? How? Do I need to hold. Gosh, it is so cramped up here. Um, how long until Thane goes? A while. Okay. What's no resistances, no immunities. All right. Oh, what am I thinking? It's too confined to do fire up here. I'll just use physical. I was about to do a dragon's breath and make a fire incarnate, but I couldn't use the incarnate's fireball up here anyway. Yeah, there's really two ways to get money in this game, and that's the Lucky Charm ability and the Thievery ability. Thievery you could consider like income when you need it. Like you're in town, you're broke, you go pickpocket people, and if it fails, you reload the game just over and over and over until you get all the money you need. Feels really cheesy. I'm I'm not a fan of just reload until success. Um, part of the reason I'm drawn to this type of gameplay, like honor mode. Good lucky charm is every time you open. It's magic find from Diablo. Every time you open a barrel, a box, anything the game considers a container, um, <laughs> even like a stack of books, sometimes it will roll the dice on giving you just some kind of crazy unique item. So, not guaranteed, but occasionally you open something and it's just mind-blowingly good and free. Alright, I'm not going to do any more summoning, because I think that'll just add to the time. Oh. I don't even have room to charge up here. Uh, skip your turn. Right, two over two thousand XP. He's got a letter. Ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> I hate you. I hate what you did to our family, to our parents. Wow. The only thing you're carrying around is a letter to somebody you hate. This guy's got a grudge. Yeah, yeah, I have one person with a uh, Lucky Charm, and I find it's good to have the Lucky Charm person have the strength, because there's so many containers that you have a strength requirement, such as like a sarcophagus or a big stone door or something, and that way the person with the Lucky Charm, you know, you don't want them to be like unable to open, and then a different person opens it and you lose the chance. So I usually have one person as the Lucky Charm person with strength, and another person is the Face Man, which is like the person with persuasion. Now, occasionally, like you'll be running around with the Lucky Charm person and you get surprised by a conversation, and then you, your person without persuasion is the one talking. It all happened, but this is kind of as close to min-maxing magic find as you can get. Okay, so we've explored that path. I know this is the group of people that want to, like, end Act 1. But I've not been down here yet. So we're going to do that now. Oh, one of the pigs that we extinguished earlier. All right, so red, I've got Pet Pal. That's another thing. You want Pet Pal on the guy with Persuasion, because that's your talking person. You don't need Pet Pal on the other three. So as soon as you, all the origin characters start out with Pet Pal, so as soon as you get to the part where you can respec, you can just take away Pet Pal from everyone other than your talking person and give them another talent. It's all right. Just killed a dude. How was your day? Oh, it's been quite a day. One moment, my flesh was flaming with cursive fire. The next, a 
stranger. That was me. I'm glad strange. you remember. But now I'm just trying to get used to life as a pig. It's not so well. I can trace it all back to Bracker's red. A few of us wizards took the chance, though. We figured if we spread the word of his, but we underestimated the cowardice of our comrades. Always the results were horrifying. A double curse turned into pigs and set aflame for eternity. I like not being on fire. So I don't want. To <laughs> I also like not being on fire. Pigs. That's a great outlook for life. Mm, I've never heard of such a curse. How did Brackus learn it? Pursued knowledge so dark. Brackus Rex's source talents were great, but some of his skills and devices were. I'm not sure. I have prayed to Armadia, but she offers no answers. Hmm, Amadia, yes. You should move to the shrine of Amadia. Really? Oh, what wonderful views! I'll head that way now. I hope to see you there. Alright. See what's in this box. Nothing. Ooh, all this ice reminds me. I need to put nails in my boots. What's going on? Yeah, all of the origin characters gets pet pal free. So, you know, my very my the person I started with in this game was Fane. So I took it away from him. Got Red Prince first. He and him and Ethan and Sibyl all have pet pal at this moment. But as soon as I get to the end of Act One, I'm going to take it away from Ethan and Sibyl and trade it in for another combat talent or something. I don't need them to keep it. Keep it. Slain the Winter Dragon. A Winter Dragon. What on earth? The dragon stares you down with flinty, intelligent eyes. He tries to speak, but his jaw is bound tightly by the same thick chains that shackled him to the... Okay, so... I can break the pillars to free the dragon, which might attack me or talk to me. Save game! I only have 30 hit points. How's the sound? Any uh, cutouts this time? The freed dragon looks sick and pale. As you approach, Great. he stretches his tattered wings weakly and fixes his intense gaze upon you. Frozen tears glint in his eyes. My gratitude for your efforts, friend. Oh, I like his voice. Yet I am no more free now than I was in those chains. Please, help me find true liberty, or sing me to the endless slow. He literally just said, give me liberty or give me death. But of course, that must be why you stand before me. Slaying called to the Lord of Death, and here you are. He thinks I am the death. Conscience. Well, I certainly look the part. I know as little of death as ah. I do life. My fate, it seems, is not my own to call. My soul has bowed to joyless obedience. Purged of my source by the wickedest of witches. I stand enthralled to her every... The witch, Redeka. I was in love with her once. For the smallest slight, really a trifle, she wielded a purging wand against me, enslaving me to her will. Now only my voice remains. I bet you asked her what she wanted for dinner, and she said whatever, and then you went to McDonald's. Is there any way to free Did you? you? Even ask such a question of a stranger already in your debt. There is much goodness within you, but this task would not be. She consumed all my source with her purging wand. So long as she holds it, she has absolute control over me. If you could retrieve it for me, I could be free again. Oh, let's save game. See what this option does. Would you like me to kill you? Retreat from me. I may have lost my source, but I can still control it. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> reload, reload, reload. I was just curious if he would actually just lay there and let me kill him. I don't really want to fight him. You 
would have my gratitude. Okay. Now, I may still want to kill him later, but I don't want to commit to a decision just yet. So I am playing on honor mode, and I need every advantage I can get. The biggest advantage in this game, of course, would be getting a lead on experience, being a level above the things I need to fight. Um, I know... I know one of the things you can do, and... Oh, waypoint, nice. In my mind, this one's not really cheesy, is you can complete the quest for the dragon, and then you can attack it, and get the XP for completing the quest, and killing the dragon, which is double what you would have gotten for doing either of those options individually. Um, it's difficult to pull off, it's kind of like a... You have to hit him at just the right moment, or it won't even let you do that. And they may have fixed it, but... In my D and D mind, there's no reason why that's not allowed. This room is just itching to explode. Oh, my eyes shoot! If that barrel burns, it's gonna refill this area with poison, and then the whole area will detonate. That fire didn't last long, so that was a little unnecessary. What's this? It looks are the oh mirage mine? Those are okay. I thought they were so those are fake, but there's real traps oh near them. What's this? Oh my goodness! Fire duration one turn. All right. By the time I cast the rain, it should be snuffed out. Are my eyes fooling me? Dirty socks and a spoon. Just what I wanted. Some old meat. I, for one, find it always safe to grab meat that I find in a random barrel in a room full of corpses. Sinu. There's a lot of containers here that are kind of hard to click on. I can't reach? There's Lucky Charm going off. Just found a magic bow. I'm just going to mark it to sell, so that's a burst of gold. Redeka the Witch. Alright. Let's do a preparation spell for when shit inevitably goes south. I can make incarnates out of that. She has a lower physical armor than magic, so physical damage is the way to go for this fight. Another reason I love summoning in this... I love summoning in all games. I love being able to just make a help. But... Oh, she caught me in conversation. Some fresh, some but in this game, it is very flexible. Smell of them stings your nostrils, your eyes. As you draw nearer, the stench blooms into a humid flavor you can almost taste. The woman she's clearly dressed for success. Oh, she's talking to Sibyl? She tucks a small bunch of black red roses. Yeah, I guess she wandered a little close. Her left hip and preparing to curtsy, offers you a hand. You're standing next to a dead guy with a name tag that says Madat. I can clearly see the name tag. We're what? not going to take your hand. That's she just rude. To her full height, her lips pursed in disappointment. She cocks her head and takes you in. The stench of death and sewage suddenly intensifies. You love dual wielding, Splitten? You doing melee dual wield or wand dual wield? The corpse at your feet cannot account for such a powerful stench. Uh, yeah, it's a girl talking to a girl. That sounds like normal talk. Now, now, that's enough of that. Ave de more de mere galat. 
Mm, the chant of the infamous Cult of the Black Ring. Very good, kitten. Thank you. Now, I imagine you're here for the same reason I am. A dual wielding does a lot of damage in this game. I, for one, get a bit scared playing that way because it's a kind of uh, offense is the greatest defense. But they're you know if they if they catch you in a bad spot, I like hiding behind my shield. She pats the bouquet. To... But you're too late. These roses belong to me. Why do I care about your flowers? Looks like we'll have to find some. Did you catch a wedding bouquet? Busy. Women are crazy about those things. Okay, so option one is Sabil is uh, playing for the other team. Uh, da, 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 da. We'd like to discuss. The... Oh yeah, Slain oh, talked about I you. Do hope that little so and so hasn't been talking. No, while well, these two are talking, Fane is gonna low key throw some mojo. You don't see anything. No right to presume in such a manner. You're the reason people like me get thrown in jail. How earnest you are. I do love that in a woman. It's really pushing this uh, Seville place for the other team option. All right, well, so I just got to get a wand from you, and I make friends with a dragon outside, so what's... Uh... Then I suppose you aren't leaving, darling. Okay, that's a threat. There's an end button. Clearly, fight's about to start. I'm going to do one of the things that is a favorite for summoners, and that is preparation. In D&D, &D, we would call this a readied action. As soon as she makes a hostile move, everybody whips out their totems. That sounded a lot better in my head. So now, even though they've only got like one turn remaining, we've got these totems here. Oh, hot damn. Alright, let's turn on hot. Jesus! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Teach me how to summon seven things at once. We can be friends. Okay. All right, my natural inclination from video games is beware the person in the silken clothes because they can probably shoot fireballs or something. So what I want to do is try to get her armor broken so I can chain gang her with knockdowns if possible. All right, Mosquito Swarm does 74 damage. So I need to get her physical armor under 74 to be able to put a bleed on her. Can't do that this turn. Okay. Downside is I'm gonna be taking free hits from all these little friends back here, but I'm going to gamble on the fact that that is worth it. the bugs. Alright, armor down, bleeding applied. Nice. Alright. Now... I'm not even sure... They're undead, but they're meaty. Meaty. Like, uh, zombie versus skeleton, so they might be bleedable, but I'm not sure. Minus 50% resistance to fire? Oh, damn. I have got to cash in on that. What about the bugs? Nothing versus fire. Okay, so physical is really fine on anything. You know what? If I waste a turn throwing Molotov cocktails with this guy, I will be hurting a little bit. So we're just going to stick with the blood strategy. do time warp if I really get in a bind. Okay. Let's see. 